Did you know that the first electric vehicles were created in 1828? The electric motor is credited to Anjos Jedlik, a Hungarian engineer. That's nearly two centuries ago. Fast forward to today, and Malaysia is on a mission to accelerate EV adoption. By 2030, 15% of all vehicles sold are expected to be electric. By 2050, that number could soar to 80%. In this video, we'll explore the challenges facing the EV charging industry, the key differences between AC and DC chargers, what sets Level 1 apart from Level 2 EV chargers, and how these innovations drive the green revolution. Understanding these differences will help you make informed decisions in this exciting new era. Stay tuned to the end to discover the best EV charger for your home, one that's faster, smarter, and built for convenience. First, let's talk numbers. According to official JPJ statistics, Malaysia recorded 10,664 electric vehicle sales in just the first half of 2024. That's a 148% increase from last year, with EVs now making up 2.6% of all vehicles sold. This is a promising start, but what's driving this growth? The key lies in the development of the EV charging infrastructure. As more EVs hit the road, having a reliable and extensive charging network is crucial for supporting this growth. It's not just about selling EVs, it's about making sure they are convenient and easy to charge, especially for new EV owners who might have concerns about range anxiety. If you like this content, please hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel and turn on notifications to receive our latest updates. Let's dive deeper into Malaysia's EV future. Engineer Mohamed Junaizi Mohamed Noor, project director at TNB, recently shared valuable insights on the role of EVs in reducing our carbon footprint. EVs have the potential to reduce carbon emissions by 23%, and with TNB's plan to cut emissions from power stations by 50% by 2035, the overall carbon impact of EVs could decrease by up to 30%. As mentioned, EVs will lower carbon emissions, and by 2030, Malaysia expects to have 500,000 EVs on the road. The potential reduction of carbon dioxide emissions could be as much as 4.4 million tons, making electric vehicles an essential part of the nation's fight against climate change. As the adoption of electric vehicles continues to rise in Malaysia, the EV charging industry faces some significant challenges. Let's explore these hurdles that must be overcome to ensure a smooth transition to electric mobility. First up is the cost of installation. Setting up a comprehensive network of charging stations, especially DC fast chargers, requires significant investment from government and private companies. Without this investment, accessibility remains a challenge for EV drivers. Next, we have grid capacity. With more EVs on the road, electricity demand will inevitably rise. Ensuring our electricity grids can handle this increased load is crucial, particularly during peak hours. Otherwise, we could face blackouts or outages. The lack of charging standardization, with different standards like CCS, CHADIMO, and Type 2, makes it difficult for drivers to find compatible stations, causing frustration. Standardization is key to simplifying charging and improving the user experience. Range anxiety persists despite better EV ranges, with drivers worried about running out of power on long trips. Expanding fast charging networks and boosting speeds are key to easing this concern. Once authorized, the charger delivers electricity. Most chargers convert alternating current, AC, to direct current, DC, for the vehicle. Fast chargers do this at the station for quicker charging. What are EV chargers? They are essential for electric vehicles, EVs, and plug-in hybrids, supplying power to keep their batteries charged. A reliable charging infrastructure allows drivers to travel long distances without fossil fuels. Let's explore how EV chargers operate. First, plug the charging cable into the vehicle's charging port, which varies by model. 
Next, the vehicle and charger communicate to ensure compatibility. Some stations may require user authentication via a card or app. Once authorized, the charger delivers electricity. Most chargers convert alternating current, AC, to direct current, DC, for the vehicle. Fast chargers do this at the station for quicker charging. Safety systems monitor the process to prevent overcharging and overheating, ensuring efficient charging. When charging is complete, the system notifies the user via an app or screen, readying the vehicle for use. As Malaysia embraces sustainable transportation, expanding EV charging infrastructure is vital. Let's explore the benefits it brings. First, EVs significantly lower emissions compared to traditional vehicles. By providing easy access to charging, we promote cleaner transportation for all. Next, charging an EV at home is often cheaper than filling up a gas tank. Plus, with the rise of renewable energy sources like solar, EV charging can become even more affordable. Investing in EV charging infrastructure creates new jobs in installation, maintenance, and operation. Businesses that offer charging facilities can also attract more customers. Finally, charging at home or work provides unmatched convenience. Drivers can maintain their vehicle's charge effortlessly, enhancing their daily routines. Understanding the difference between AC and DC charging is crucial when it comes to EV chargers. Let's break it down. First, we have AC charging, the most common type for home and public stations. Since the grid provides power as AC, it's widely accessible. AC chargers typically range from 3.7 kilowatt to 22 kilowatt, making them ideal for overnight charging at home. While they're affordable and easy to find, they do have longer charging times compared to DC options. Now let's talk about DC charging. These chargers bypass the vehicle's onboard charger, delivering power directly to the battery, which allows for much faster charging speeds, typically from 50 kilowatt to 350 kilowatt. You'll find DC chargers at dedicated fast charging locations, perfect for quick stops during long journeys. Understanding the difference between level one and level two, AC EV chargers is essential for EV owners. Level one, AC EV chargers are the most basic type, typically using a standard household outlet. While they're convenient, they offer about four miles of driving range per hour, which means charging can take 11 to 20 hours to go from empty to full. This can be impractical for daily use. Level two, AC EV chargers are a game changer, offering up to 32 miles of range per hour up to eight times faster than level one. They fully charge a vehicle in four to eight hours with power output from 6.2 to 19.2 kilowatts. They're compatible with both single phase, 230 volts per 32 amps, and three phase, 400 volts per 16 amps or 32 amps. Are you ready to explore next level charging? The Wade Muller AC Smart EV Chargers are your solution for faster, more efficient charging. As a level two EV charger, it's designed to cut your charging time compared to standard options. Plus, with the AC Smart Mobile app, you're in control. Manage your charging preferences, optimize efficiency, and save on costs. Whether for home or business, the award-winning Weidmüller AC Smart EV Chargers make installation easy and deliver long-lasting reliability. And stay tuned. Up next, we'll dive into the three models, the AC Smart Eco, AC Smart Value, and AC Smart Advanced. Introducing Weidmüller AC Smart Eco, ideal for home use, the AC Smart Echo offers charging power from 7.4 to 22 kilowatts, accommodating various EV models. Users can monitor their charging via a dedicated app, ensuring convenience. Next is the AC Smart Value, ideal for commercial and multi-unit residential setups. 
It provides 11 to 22 kilowatts of charging power, supports three-phase 400 volts, and includes load management to prevent overload. Configurable for PV charging via the AC Smart App, it also features RFID authentication for security. The last series in the Weidmuller AC Smart EV Charger lineup is the AC Smart Advanced, built for high-demand commercial environments. It delivers 11 to 22 kilowatt charging, supports three-phase 400 volts for fast, reliable charging, and enables PV charging. It also features dynamic load management, secure access via RFID or NFC, and MID-compliant data recording for precise tracking and management. Altec Engineering, in partnership with Weidmuller, offers the AC Smart Eco for 3,988 ringgit, targeting residential and commercial sectors. Despite many East Malaysian homes using single-phase power, luckily, the Weidmuller AC Smart EV Charger, a Level 2 solution, supports both single- and three-phase setups. With Weidmuller's AC Smart EV Chargers and Alltech Engineering's innovative strategies, Malaysia is set to accelerate its transition to electric mobility. Power your electric vehicle sustainably. Contact Alltech Engineering to explore our renewable energy solutions today. Enjoyed this content? Like and share to help others discover it. Don't miss out. Subscribe and turn on notifications to stay updated with our latest content and insights.